Hello, hello. Hello, everyone. Let me just make sure that I'm live and you can see me. It'll take a couple seconds for the server to upload. If you're comment or if you're watching live, comment hi. Hopefully you're having a great day this morning. Let me see. Yay, I'm in that group. Awesome. Let me go see my other group. I'm in there too. Yay. So welcome, welcome. Happy Monday, everyone. And I'm so excited to do this five-day mindset, Wonder Woman Mindset Challenge with everyone. This is going to be very beneficial, very helpful, and I can't wait to see what everyone comes up with for their their results and their their um, Wonder Woman mantra that we'll do another day. That's not today, but today we're going to be focusing more on who Wonder Woman is and um, some traits about her, and then see what you have in common common with the, the legendary superhero Wonder Woman, and see how you yourself have your own Wonder Woman inside of you. So if you're watching this and you haven't gotten your workbook yet, I'm going to share my banner for the workbook. And I will post it in the comments as well. So let me go to Bitly and get that for you. Do, do, do. Here we go. <laughs> Post. There we go. So there is the link. I'm going to pin it for you to the top so you can get your free workbook. Let me do that in the other group as well. Here we go. And paste, comment. Hi, Anna. How are you doing? And pin. Okay. So both groups should have this. I'm going live two places at the same time. So I'm going live in Be Your Own Wonder Woman and in my team group for pharmacy. So I just want to make sure everyone has their resource. Okay. So I'm going to share my screen. Hi, Anna. So I'm going to share my screen here. And we're going to go to our workbook. So this is the Wonder Woman Be Your Own Wonder Woman workbook that I've created for you. In here, we're in this five-day challenge. We're going to take our power back by facing our shadows and being brave and listening to our intuition and stepping into the unknown towards our greatness, towards whatever our intuition is calling us to do to be greater. So we have five days here, five modules. Today's module is module one, what makes you Wonder Woman. In this chapter, we will find common characteristics between you and Wonder Woman. Module two, which is tomorrow, your Wonder Woman mantra. Well, in this chapter, you will learn how to create your own Wonder Woman mantra. On Wednesday, what is your shadow? In that chapter, you will learn what the shadow is and how it plays a role in your experiences and life decisions. Module four, your intuition versus your shadow. In this chapter, we will learn how to recognize when your shadow is presenting itself in your life and any fears that may be linked to that shadow. And then number module five, we're going to learn how to sharpen your sword. In this chapter, you will learn techniques to work through your fears associated with your shadow and how to unveil your superpowers. So welcome, welcome. My name is Kristen Groskebauer. I've been um, in direct sales for many, many years, over 10 years, and I didn't really start to see a difference in my business until I really learned how to build a strong mindset. And so this page right here tells you a, more about that journey and how I really made the connection between really building a strong mindset 
so that you don't give up in your direct sales business and keep going. Um, and that I believe was the first step towards my success in direct sales was developing that strong mindset. Then we will go ahead and start module one. What makes you Wonder Woman? And so in this chapter, there are note pages. So if you'll see here, we have a journal pages. I have two journal pages because this is going to be more of a self development chapter. The two chapters are more self development, really digging deep into your inner Wonder Woman. So I hope you guys have a pen and a paper. Let me see if there's any questions. Okay, so here we go. So how are you and a Wonder Woman alike? Take some time to think about how you define the Wonder Woman archetype because we're going to, in these five days, we're going to really connect to our inner Wonder Woman archetype. And archetype is, is a character that you resonate with or maybe like a, a mentor um, or, yeah, like a mentor or a character that you resonate with that you feel that you have common characteristics with. So you're going to write down Wonder Woman's characteristics, her traits, her strengths, and her values. The three main questions you want to answer are, what does Wonder Woman believe in? What are her core values? What is Wonder Woman's dream or passion? <clears throat> and what does Wonder Woman fight for? And I found a great video on YouTube that kind of explains Wonder Woman and the history of her character. So I'm going to share that here with you in this video. Wonder Woman has been in print almost continuously for 76 years. But despite an array of TV shows, TV movies, direct to DVD animations and merchandise, the character has never starred in her own movie in cinemas. And that makes 2017's Wonder Woman a milestone. Tracking Wonder Woman through the years is like tracking the history of feminism. Now go, unleash hell. But while Wonder Woman has been dismissed or overlooked by studios and dissenters, she's meant a lot to women over the years. Wonder Woman really is my hero. <laughs> I mean, she's smart and beautiful, moral. And totally independent. She's a demigoddess, an Amazonian warrior princess, and a founding member of the Justice League, a strong fighter who's also a pacifist. She's also inspired by early suffragettes. She stands for justice and peace and wisdom and love and acceptance and compassion. All of these things are rare. They're becoming rare in, in our world. So let's take a look at who Wonder Woman really is and how she's evolved over the years. Wonder Woman is also known as Diana Prince or the goddess of truth herself. She was created in 1941 by psychologist William Marston. Marston wanted to make a female role model or quote, the new type of woman who should rule the world. Cue the birth of Wonder Woman. Diana was raised by her mother, Hippolyta, the Amazonian queen from Greek mythology, on Paradise Island, which in the 1987 relaunch following Crisis on Infinite Earths was renamed Themyscira. According to the relaunch, Greek goddesses made this home for the reincarnated souls of Amazon women murdered by men. No men are allowed on the island, but Diana nurses a U.S. Air Force pilot, Steve Trevor, back to health after his plane crashes there. So begins Diana's life in America and her identity as the superhero called Wonder Woman. The 2017 film, directed by Patty Jenkins and starring Gal Gadot, moves Diana's story to World War I instead of the original World War II. Witnessing war, Diana feels shock and disgust that parallels Steve Trevor's and others' horror at the new kind of brutal warfare introduced at that time. Compared to the Nazis, the enemy in the sprawling, complex World War I is also less clear-cut. So we could interpret that in keeping with Diana's peace-loving nature, the enemy here is war itself. To the war! Well, technically the war is that way, but we got to go this way first. I can barely remember what first attracted to me to Wonder Woman because it was so natural. It happened when I was such a young child and every child wants to be powerful and good and beautiful and effective. I was around in this wonderful renaissance of Wonder Woman because of the show. So Wonder Woman was like the thing to be 
your fantasy of everything great you could ever aspire to being. Wonder Woman. Okay, so let's go back to our workbook. So, what does Wonder Woman believe in? She believes in everything good in people. Her core values is she fights for those who um, don't have anyone to fight for them. What is Woman's, Wonder Woman's dream and passion is to, to unity and peace. She wants peace. She is not a fan of war. And a lot of the values that she has are always, I find, relatable to our world today. And so what does Wonder Woman fight for? She finds for, fights for the underdog. She believes in justice and what is right and what is wrong and wants to make the world a better place. So in the journal pages, you will go ahead and answer those three questions at your own leisure and i'm curious to see what everyone comes up with so now that we know who wonder woman is and what she fights for and what she believes in and what her core values are now we're going to see what we ourselves have in common with wonder woman so now imagine that you are in fact 100 percent without a doubt wonder woman and answer the questions below look back and see if your answers match any of the wonder woman characteristics that you defined above on page six so what are your core values and how are they similar to Wonder Woman's core values? So really, this is where we take the, the deep dive into our own beliefs and our own morals and our values. And we're going to find what we stand for, what we fight for, what's our dream, what's our passion, and see if they have any similar characteristics to Wonder Woman. What is your passion? What is your dream? What do you fight for? If you were Wonder Woman, what would you fight for? So these are all the questions that you will be answering in your journal pages. And I'm curious to see if anyone's watching live right now, what is it that you fight for? What is it that you dream of? Let me go back to my screen here. So comment below, what do, what do you fight for? What is your dream? If you're inclined to, if you're brave, be brave and share your beliefs. Let me remove this real quick. Now just wait a little bit. Oh, no, it's going to share their beliefs. Well, if you're catching the replay, if you're catching the replay, please, please, please share what you fight for. Share what your dreams are. Share what your core values are. For me, I want to inspire strength and confidence in women so that they can go out there and be their own Wonder Woman. I want to be there for all women, no matter what economic status they're in, no matter what life experiences they have experienced. You know, we are a shaped by our life experiences, but they don't have to have power over us. And we'll learn more about that in the following chapters in our challenge or in the following modules in our minder our Wonder Woman Mindset Challenge. And so that comes more later on in our training but those are what i fight for i fight for women i fight for them to go out there and believe in themselves take the first step into the unknown and don't worry about if you fail because failing is a part of the journey and in fact the most important lessons we learn in life as we step into the unknown and answer the call to our tuition to be our own wonder woman the best lessons we learn are the lessons we learn as we fail. And I've very, I've experienced that many times in my life and my, especially in direct sales, failed a lot. And the biggest lessons I've learned is, are through my failures. So I hope that this first week 
is not too difficult. I know it takes a lot of introversion, a lot of um, thinking and really looking deep within yourself, but I'm so excited to see what people come up with and, and what, what you um, find that you have in common with Wonder Woman, with this Wonder Woman archetype. And if you are brave enough to share, please share them in the comments below. I would love to see what everyone has come up with and encourage you on your journey of becoming your own Wonder Woman. If you have questions, please message me. But that's it for today. Just those first three questions. Let me share my screen again and go back to those first three questions on page six. What does Wonder Woman believe in? What are her core values? What is Wonder Woman's dream or passion? What does Wonder Woman fight for? And then you're going to answer those same questions for yourself. What are your core values? Are they similar to Wonder Woman's? What are your, What is your passion? What is your dream? And if you were your under Wonder Woman, what would you fight for? And answer those below. And then if you feel comfortable enough to share, please share so we can encourage you on your journey to become your own Wonder Woman. Have a great day, everyone. Happy Monday, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.